victory, baby. We did this one together. 6-1 to get a bad taste of the frustrating one nothing shutout loss yesterday in Arizona out of our mouth. And checking so many boxes and gave me the warm and fuzzies. One, basically finding our fifth starter. Uh, Schwell and Bach is taking a stranglehold of that. Seeing the young kid grow before our eyes in so many different ways. So many warm and fuzzies just for that. But Orlando Arcia putting together a solid offensive night and getting one to go over the wall. Uh, and setting up the rally for the tic-tac-toe add-on run in the in the eighth inning. Just feels really good. That offensive struggle monkey off the back for at least one one day for Orlando Arcia. And that's huge because he's such so big for a clubhouse. The keeping it loose and all that stuff. But it... You could tell it was starting to weigh on him, so for him to have a big blast to help us extend that lead in that fifth inning was absolutely massive. Big Bear doing Big Bear things, two blasts, uh, and Matt Waldron was cruising um, until that fifth inning, and he decided to hang a couple of sweepers, and we he hang them, and we banged them. Um, we made him... We, that fifth inning stung like a bee. Uh, the knuckleball, the great knuckleball quote, uh, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee from the late great Tim Wakefield came to mind. And then that fifth inning, we made Waldron feel a lot of bee stings, and it felt really good. Uh, but Spencer Schwellenbach, absolutely phenomenal seven innings. And for him to be able to go out and finish the seventh inning, that's, a cherry on top and a road win and continue San Diego's woes. Uh, feels really good. Get back over 10 games, over 500, all of that stuff. Uh, seven innings, three hits, one earned, one walk, three strikeouts for Spencer. And the two strike pitches, there aren't as many two strike mistakes um, as we've seen in his pocket of um, bad inning or bad stretches that he's had in his young career. And tonight, a uh, couple of uh, doubles back to back to Cronenworth and Machado. The one to Cronenworth was just perfectly placed, soft contact devil. And I'm not actually, Jared Kelnick might get there if he's out there and left. Nothing against Eddie there, it was softly hit. Nothing you could do. And then probably his only mistake was a 97 mile an hour fastball to Machado out, out over and he smoked it. The Padres took quick one nothing lead, but he stopped the the rally right there. And then the Braves went to work. Marcelo Zuna banged it, hanger banger for over 400 happy happy feet. The Big Bear feasting on some salmon baseballs tonight. That uh, kissed the sky, and there was gold at the end of that rainbow um, to make a one to one. Then Adam Duvall got a uh, 0-2 knuckleball, smoked it down the line for a double. Eddie Rosario with a little small ball, was trying to butt for a base hit, ended up being a sacrifice. The infield in for Chavi and didn't try to do too much, poked it in uh, the drawn-in hole um, to make it 2-1. And then Orlando Arcia got a hanger, banged it. Massive, massive homer for Orlando and the Braves to make it 4-1. to one. And then after those back-to-back -back doubles, Spencer didn't give up anything after that. He was that dialed in, using Eddie Rosario seven times, the outfield a lot. Adam Duvall made a really good um, leap and catch at that small jutted-in wall down the, down the right field line. It wasn't hit hard by Profar, but that could have been uh, played into trouble. And Adam said, nope. So that was about the only spot of bother Spencer had. And then in the eighth, Jimenez gave up an infield single and an error by Orlando Arcia. But a heck of a play by Orlando to even make that relatively close. But it got by Matt Olson the outstretch. But he was able to... Straight out, Higashioka after falling behind 3-1. He absolutely Greg Maddox, Sherwin Williams painted on two fastballs. Noise at the knees, ghosted down, and then arise, ground out. And after he twisted him and not 
a knot on a couple of nasty sliders and ground out for a rise and a fly out by Jerkson Profar. And then Marcelo Zuna just wanted the extra home run derby practice, number 26 on the season, past Andrew Jones for the Atlanta Brave record for RBIs before the All-Star break was 76. Um, absolutely torch one of De Los Santos, 97. Goodbye uh, to make it 6-1. Dylan Lee came in, gave up a single to uh, Bogarts, but two strikeouts, nothing else. Absolutely incredible. Um, as always, go Braves, champions forever. You see this, even though Iggy wasn't in, it's too late. As always, go Braves, champions forever.